So I have uh, 300 grams of uh, butternut squash, 100 grams of uh, chopped onions. Size doesn't matter because we will mix it in the blender anyway. 100 grams of bok choy, 100 grams of cauliflower, 60 grams of uh, grated cheese. Here I have Gouda cheese, but uh, you can use any type of cheese. A cup of uh, chicken bone broth. Six um, hundred grams of carrots, one spoon, one tablespoon of ghee, and a mix of spice. Here I have a um, turmeric, a ginger, powdered ginger, powdered um, garlic, salt, and pepper. So I melted the butter, and I'm going to add all the spice. Give it a stir. Smells so good and add all the vegetables and give it a quick stir so oh, sorry the battery went off so what I was doing is I added all the vegetables with the ghee and all the spice and I'm giving them a quick stir before I add uh, the chicken bone broth okay, so it's getting a bit yellow because of the turmeric turmeric and um, to make it a hot soluble um, spice, so, so it, it really loves the beef. Now it's starting to smell nice. And I will add the bone broth. And let it boil for uh, about 15 minutes until it until all the vegetables are really soft and tender. I will come back when they are cooked. So it's boiling. Just gonna leave it boil for a bit. So it has been it has been approximately about 15 minutes, and now I'm gonna test it if it cooked. So yes, it's very soft. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and let it cool down to blend. So I let the mix of vegetables cool down and now I will put it in the blender and blend it. I will put it back into the pan and we'll add the cheese the, the cheese and leave just a little bit of the cheese for the garnish and put it on heat again so here I will put it on fire just to melt the cheese. We can also use cream cheese that will make it a bit creamier. We can always add more bone broth uh, if we like it a bit thinner. So I like it thick and creamy like that. So you see the cheese melted and it's all homogenous now. So I'll turn off the heat and it's ready to serve. So I will serve it in a bowl. We'll add some cheese and make it look a little bit beautiful with some parsley and it's ready.